Hey everyone, my name is Tony and welcome back to another Profile Builder video. Today we're diving into the whole tool and explore some creative ways you can use it to improve your 3D modeling. Let's get started. So the whole tool in Profile Builder allows you to create and manage holes or openings in groups such as wall assemblies. And this is especially useful for modeling windows and doors and any sort of opening related in architectural design. So I have this very simple model and I want to start working on the exterior walls and add openings for the windows and doors. And maybe by the end, we'll work on creating a custom profile for the roof slope. So here is the whole tool in Profile Builder. And this is the settings dialog to help you manage all of your openings. It's an extremely simple tool to understand. For example, you can create circular holes, rectangle and custom. And here you have the proper settings to create each of those shapes. So for each shape, you will always have placement point options. And for example, in the circle, you can adjust the diameter as well as the segments whether you want the depth to affect the entire shape or you can assign a depth value. And down here you have the tools to add, select, move, apply changes and delete. So we're going to get started with the square hole tool to add openings for the windows. For our placement, we keep it at the bottom left. So for the height and width, I'll go for a typical floor to almost ceiling height opening. So the height can be seven feet and the width can be 12 feet. Full depth means that the hole can affect your entire objects. So if I was to put a hole in here, it would affect the front as well as the back of, of this entire group. But you can also disable and set a depth so that it only affects this wall. So this is the thickness of the wall and here we can set that same value or greater. So with these settings, I can now add my hole. I can just select this icon here. That is our profile. And now I can click anywhere on the surface of this wall to create my opening. And as you can see, it created an opening through this wall assembly. Now if I undo and I hold shift, this allows me to be a little bit more precise so I can lock on to this face and I can just click to add my opening. And if I press control, I can pick a reference point. So for example, if I want to pick this corner, I can hit control. Now that is my reference point. And I can now set a distance to where I want this to go, right? So from here, I can basically say one foot six inches. So now I added my opening based on that distance. As you can see, this is a very simple workflow to follow and we can repeat the same step on this other wall. I'm going to change my placement to bottom right and we'll come over to this corner, hit control to set our reference point. And from here, I'm also going to set one foot six and now I can click to create my opening. So now we have an opening in the front as well as on the side of the house. And as you can see, nothing too complicating about the whole tool, extremely simple and very useful. So that's pretty much all for the square opening. Now the circular opening also works in a similar fashion with a few less settings. For example, I'm going to pick my placement point to the center. This is the diameter of the circle. So we'll set this to three feet and the higher the number of segments, the smoother your circle. So it's in your best interest to keep this value slightly higher. Double this up to 32. And this time I'm going to set it to full depth just to show an example. Let me select my group, select that opening. And now you can see that it placed the hole not only in the front wall, but also in the back. Let me undo versus if this was just one foot three, it would only create a hole in that front wall. As for these other tools, for example, this one allows us to select the holes. For example, I can come to this one and I can select that hole and now I can move it if I wanted to, right? Select the point, add a distance and I can move this around my wall. I can make some changes. I can bring this back to two feet, six inches 
and I can bring this back to 16 in segments so you can see the quality of the opening and I make that update as you can see it's a little bit less quality and if I wanted to delete I can basically make my selection select delete and click on that opening needless to say that the whole tool not only works on profile builder assemblies but also on groups and components that you've created yourself but keep in mind that the changes are permanent so you won't be able to edit any openings once you've added them on solid groups and components so here is a slightly updated version of our model and now we can move on to add the custom hole now so custom allows you to make a custom shape and use it as a profile to create an opening and that's what i'll be using to subtract a roof pitch off my wall assembly so this is the shape that we're going to be using as you can see it's a roof pitch and now we need to make a profile out of this shape so so here we can open custom and right beside profile you will see an icon to edit the whole profile click here and you will open the profile dialog box and this is what we're going to use to create a new profile you want to make sure that your shape is pre-selected and you want to click on this plus icon right here so now we're going to give this a name so i'll call this roof pitch click ok and now we have that profile as you can see here on the preview now the next step is to select the placement point right now it is on the center as it says so right there and we want it to be somewhere around here for easier placement on our model so i'm going to change it to top left and that's pretty much all we need to do for our profile so we're going to select ok so now we've loaded our roof pitch as our profile so i'm going to select my wall assembly click here to create a hole and there you can see the roof pitch has our preview so i want to snap this to the midpoint of our wall and that should be somewhere around here and once i click it should be subtracted from our wall so we get this nice custom shape now to do the other side if you look over at the bottom here there are a couple of useful shortcuts but we also have tab to mirror our profile so if i stay right here i can press tab and it will flip over to the other side and now i can click to create another opening there because this midpoint is the center of reference i'm going to press tab to go back to the other side and i'm going to select this wall and once again create an opening based on that center point so once i click here it should subtract from that wall as well and we'll repeat that same step for this back wall here and that's how the custom shape works it can be very useful in architectural modeling to take care of creating roofs like this obviously you can still add a lot more detail to make this a little bit more realistic but the profile builder whole tool is flexible enough to help you add openings and create an accurate roof pitch profile for your 3d model and that's going to be all for this unique tool in profile builder let me know how you use the whole tool in your 3d model and if you found this helpful don't forget to like and subscribe if you got a question or ideas for new videos be sure to drop it down in the comment section and as always we'll catch you guys in the next video